This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. We're going to recap this real quick before we move on with the news. Okay, so it got really disrespectful last night, and we're going to process it differently today. Okay, so Jeezy did an interview with The Breakfast Club talking about everything that went on last night. Uh, I also caught 21 Savage. He filmed himself reacting to everything and was dissing Jeezy nonstop. As you know, he did, he dissed Jeezy on many men. He doesn't have that much respect for Jeezy. And a lot of people think that Gucci Man and Jeezy are headed to this kumbaya moment where they're going to start working together. I could see them going on tour together because they showed maturity last night where they could both, you know, be in a room. They could say certain things about each other, but it doesn't go beyond that, okay? And I don't know if you guys saw the footage of uh, of the way Gucci Man was rolling around last night, but... Uh, <laughs> He, he, he definitely had armed security, and so did uh, Jeezy. Like, I mean, armed. Like, they had four people on each car, fully armed. Okay, so these guys were rolling around very safe last night. Okay, nothing was going to happen, if you, if you see right here. Um, so... Uh, then we got, so Jeezy wakes up this morning, he does the breakfast club, he says, you know, it was good. Uh, they talked about the disrespectful moments, and he said, well, you know, he could have responded with, stay strapped, after he, after Gucci played Truth. And it would have just came tit for tat, because Gucci Man kept going after that, he played 745, right? So he just kept dissing, and he kept taking little digs at Jeezy all night. Now, a lot of people say, oh, uh, geez, you can't, uh, Gucci can't let it go. Listen, man, three people came to your house, right, to take you out back in 2005, uh, and you had to take one of them out and put them six feet in? Dude, you wouldn't, it's hard to forgive somebody like that. That's why I say there's going to be no kumbaya moment, but this will be done out in the open. They've tried to do this like three or four times before. This Not, not a versus, but... Uh, a sit down where they, you know, hashed everything out and it was over. Uh, there was a phone call. There was a party that happened once. And there was some other time. And it, they all just failed eventually. And this will fail eventually too because Gucci Man feels the way he does. And I don't blame him. If somebody, you can never trust somebody that came at you the way it transpired with um, Jeezy. Even after that, multiple times in Atlanta, there was run-ins with CTE people and uh so i see people i mean gucci man's changed his record label so many times 1017 whatever you want you know so, but you know slick pulla and waka at a video shoot once uh you know it, they've had many 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 run-ins okay um but it was nice to see last night okay so gucci man was gucci man last night which is good okay <laughs> because he wasn't being fake about it he did what he did on stage, and everybody was expecting that. And I'll play 21 Savage reacting to that right here. Wow! Wow! You gotta go stay strong. You gotta go stay strong. After the truth, you gotta go stay strong. 
He dancing and shit. This man to my nigga your partner. You gotta perform a dick song, man. So 21 Savage was going crazy right there talking about like yo you gotta play stay strapped after this and I understand why Jeezy didn't go there uh, because it would have kept it going the whole versus would have gone in a different direction at that point <laughs> and it just would have it just would have escalated I think Jeezy made the right decision somebody had to but also Jeezy didn't have someone make an attempt on him back then from that side so he can be more calculated about it and feel differently about it. Uh, Gucci Man almost wasn't around anymore after that night, you know? So he was lucky he reacted the way he did and was able to come out of that situation, okay? People have to understand that. That's, what, that's never going to go away. Um, and, you know, Jeezy said they have to sit down in a room and he can't talk about that situation because that's between those two and that's a really deep conversation that's still fresh and they they're the only two people that can talk about that situation and really hash it out in a room because and that's true that's real you know because it's like that was a life or death situation right there you know and you can't like now yeah and, and, and you can't just sum it up in a conversation you know in just an interview anyways getting to the versus battle uh it was great okay uh 21 Savage as you see was like oh look he's shook Jeezy's Jeezy's punching the chair right now he can't even look at Gucci man in the eyes and I noticed that kind of body language as well um when Gucci was looking straight at Jeezy the whole time uh but as far as musically I would say Jeezy won because I don't think Gucci played all the right songs I would have skipped a few I would have skipped Bench Warmers I Think I Love Her um, I would have, I might have skipped on my dog even, uh, cause like I would have skipped the wake up in the sky, right? I would have skipped those immediately, even both with Drake, because even though that's a big song, Gucci has better songs to go with more, to, like you got to play bricks like he did. Um, that's my hood. That's a good one. Um, make the trap say, Hey, you got to play that. He didn't play, uh, he didn't play, uh, what's the other one? Bird flu. He didn't play bird flu. That would have been a good one. Heavy was that's necessary. Uh, steady mobbing. That's a good one. First day out, of course. Shoot. Uh, photo shoot. Wasted. Truth. Seven forty five. Those are two big ones right there that he had to play. He played trap house, but didn't play trap house three with Rick Ross, which was a big one. But trap house was big too. Uh, pills which could be used, I might be, and all that stuff. That could be that, I did that video. I did vet, I didn't do vet pass by, I did kick a door, which is the same beat. Um, lemonade, that was a big one. <sighs> Going hate, but it's, and they ended it with So Icy, which was nice, but Gucci could have picked better records. You know, he could have picked, he could have left out a few because you're not going in there. These are huge. Those are huge records for Gucci Man. But you want to win the battle. Jeezy has a lot of big sounding records because he was under Def Jam. I mean, I know Gucci was on Atlantic, but they kind of let him do what he was doing. He was an underground king. With Jeezy, he had just huge sounding records. So you got to compete with that. So you got to pick your big sounding records to go up against his big sounding records. So. I think he actually should have started off earlier with photo shoot and a couple of them to set the pace, then eased up, gone into some classics, right? Then gone back hard, you know, maybe then went in with a little bit of, went in with the disc records, I think, and then ended it with some big sounding records at the end. Cause like, you know, it's not just about streams. You gotta like feel it. You felt the Jeezy records. You know, he played Trapper Die. That was huge. Standing Ovation is a great song, but he could have picked a different one. Uh, Gangsta Music was good. Bottom of the map. He was playing with some, he didn't really go to, Jeezy didn't really go insane with his best records last night either. So I don't know, like musically, that's a hard one, okay? But 
uh, vibe wise, I'd give it to Gucci Man. My Gucci Man came ready. <laughs> uh, but you know what? In the end of the day, they came out and nobody got hurt. They, it was a lot of fun for everybody watching and it was a great moment. I mean, that was history last night, you know, and that was amazing. And uh, oh, yeah, as far as Jeezy's response to Gucci Man. Gucci Man said, I have a $10,000 fit on right now. And then he was like, well, I own half of Atlanta. It's like, dude, we're, we're, we're in a, uh, we're, we're looking at this in a strip club and we're just focused on the stage right now. Now I know Gucci Man is still has that mentality. He's got that straight mentality of just like, you know, this is who I am. This is what I drive. And that's it. But Jeezy, as far as owning half of Atlanta, he's involved, the things that he's invested in is mostly duplexes. He's notoriously invested in bad decisions on real estate. I mean, I think he lost $500,000 on a condo, a couple hundred thousand dollars on a house in the past. More recently, he got with the right people and he started investing around university, you know, the, the colleges in Atlanta where, you know, you can get a duplex or a triplex or a multiple apartment complex and rent it out to students. And that's where he's making, and that's a long-term investment play. Gucci man, since he's come home, he's been a little bit hotter than Jeezy as far as current records. I mean, he didn't even play Black Beatles last night. What was the Who's song uh, with him and Ray Sherman? That was, all that was good. All that's game. I don't know what their rules were, but uh, Jeezy's in for long-term plays right now. Gucci man got a lot of big bags when he came home. He got you know big lab bag from a labels. Uh, he got a lot of, he did a lot of endorsement deals with big companies. I, I, I forget all the names, but I remember seeing them and I was like, you know, he's getting like 4 million here, 2 million here, a million here. You know, he's, he's getting huge investments. I mean, he even got his wedding paid for by BET, you know? So like he's been doing huge deals since he's been home. So I would say like right now, these guys are about the same worth. But in the long run, Jeezy's making long-term investments that'll pay out a lot more 10 years from now, you know? Because you don't really make your money back from those duplexes and everything for a few years, you know? You, you're paying down loans and stuff and all that stuff. You're, you're taking loans. You always want to play with other people's money. Trust me. Because you want to keep more of your money to do other investments. You know, you got to still put deposits down and all that. So he's getting heavy into the real estate. Right now, we're kind of in a bubble everywhere, but uh, it's not a great time to buy. But I don't know. That's another story. Anyways, they ended it in a good note. And uh, Jeezy said, okay, I think that, you know, Gucci might be ready to move forward and at least do business together. And I think they'll definitely do a tour or something coming up soon. I think so. I think that'll be big. I mean, for the, for for just the game period you don't have to be best friends after this but this would and this was way more entertaining than a ti one would be way more entertaining ti it's too bad little flip doesn't have more records like ti that would have been a good one but he just doesn't have enough records to even do it uh but that would have been a good one because those guys had extreme those guys had big problems you know I mean, T.I. went all the way to Houston to chase Little Flip around a car. And, the, the, you know, it was like crazy, man. That was crazy times back then. Still crazy now. I mean, it's even crazier maybe right now. I don't know. But anyways, this is Jordan Tower with JT News. Smash that like button. Tell me what you guys thought about everything. And 